Structured Query Language or SQL is a powerful data analysis and manipulation tool. So powerful, so important that even after 50 years, it is still used globally. And note just that a study conducted on 25,000 data tech job advertisements found that SQL as a skill is asked more often than even Python or Hadoop. So to crack an interview in the field of data tech, SQL is a must have skill. And by the way, we have already uh, created this free SQL course for you to get started with. Uh, do check it out. The link is in the description. Now to gain practical experience in SQL, real world projects are very much essential. And in this video, we'll talk about our uh, top 10 uh, SQL projects. These projects are a must have in your portfolio and should be there on your resume as well. So let's begin. Our first SQL project is Sales Data Analysis. The primary aim of this uh, data mining project is to conduct an in-depth analysis of sales data to gain valuable insights into things like sales performance, identifying emerging trends, etc. In this project, we'll use the Superstore dataset. As an important first step, we need to pre-process this data to ensure data quality and hygiene by checking for missing values, removing duplicates, etc. Post that, with the help of a series of SQL queries, we find uh, things like uh, which region generated the highest sales and profits for the store. Now, based on this uh, SQL analysis, you can make data-driven business strategies for uh, improved decision-making. For example, in this Superstore dataset, California, New York, and Washington were Superstore's most profitable markets, especially in terms of state-level sales. Now, in business terms, maybe you can formulate a strategy to focus more on these states by building a loyalty program. This project will teach you how you can use SQL to analyze real-world sales data and help make better business decisions for the company. Now, let's move on to our project number two, which is uh, customer segmentation. The primary aim of a customer segmentation project is to categorize customers into distinct segments using data analysis. This involves understanding unique characteristics like age, location, purchasing pattern, and even browsing behaviors. For this project, we'll delve into the dataset of an OTT platform called Codeflix. This dataset comprises of uh, consumer data points such as uh, demographics, purchase history, and browsing patterns. Before diving uh, into the analysis, it's imperative to pre-process the data first. Then using a series of SQL queries, we'll aggregate and then summarize this data. For instance, we can craft SQL queries to determine the number of Codeflix viewers who are young adults and then further break it down by age. By analyzing the dataset, you will gain proficiency in understanding the distinct customer segments based on a whole bunch of factors like demographics, interests, purchasing behavior, etc. And then you use this to make informed decisions. For example, if the analysis reveals a significant segment of the audience to be young adults, Codeflix might consider producing more content catering to this young uh, segment of audience. Now, let's move on to our third project. The primary goal of uh, the fraud detection project is to utilize SQL queries to identify anomalies and uh, potential fraud in transactions data. The dataset used for this project consists of transactional data, encompassing transaction amounts, timestamps, and user information. Data pre-processing here includes removing duplicate entries, handling missing values, and standardizing data formats. Now, to perform effective uh, fraud detection, a variety of SQL queries are to be deployed for aggregating transactional data, detecting outliers, uh, advanced SQL functions and techniques such as window functions, subqueries, and joins can improve fraud detection accuracy. The analysis yields valuable insights and findings such as identifying transactions with unusually high or low amounts, detecting patterns of suspicious activities and pinpointing potential fraudulent accounts or behaviors. Furthermore, businesses can utilize the analysis to identify system vulnerabilities and implement proactive measures to prevent frauds in the future. The fourth project on our list is inventory management. This analysis is crucial for businesses such as retail stores, departmental stores, etc. to effectively manage their inventory that they carry within their stores. The primary goal is to optimize supply chain operations, thereby reducing the overall costs. 
Uh, for this project, we'll be using a specific data set that includes uh, essential inventory details like product names, quantities, prices, and the reorder points for the specific products. Uh, the first step, as we know by now, is to pre-process this data. Then we'll employ a series of SQL queries to analyze the inventory. We'll calculate uh, stock levels, identify products with low inventory, and determine reorder points based on historical sales data. We'll also track inventory turnover and uh, generate reports that summarizes key inventory metrics and highlight products that need immediate attention. The outcome of this project is a robust inventory management system that helps businesses maintain optimal stock levels of various uh, products. Uh, it prevents scenarios of overstocking as well as understocking. You can also identify which products need to be reordered immediately, sport any duplicate items, and align the business's sales goals. The fifth project on our list is the Website Analytics Project. This project is centered around understanding user behaviors on a website. Behaviors like how much time do users spend on the website, which pages do they visit more frequently, etc. For this project, we'll be using our dataset from a song's website. This dataset includes uh, user-specific information such as location, device type, user behavior like songs they listen to, time spent on the site, actions taken, and traffic sources. The first step again is to clean this data and pre-process it. Then we'll employ a variety of uh, SQL queries to extract meaningful insights like uh, using an aggregation query to find the most listened to songs or calculate the average time a user spends on a page using SQL average function. From these queries, we can delve valuable insights such as most popular artists based on the number of users who listen to their songs or most played songs on the website. These insights then could be translated into a business requirement uh, wherein we promote the most popular artist uh, heavily or focus on creating more music that aligns with the most played song genre. Now let's move on to our next project and this is your clue for guessing it what it is. Indeed, our next project is the movie recommendation system. Uh, the goal here is to delve into a user's movie watching patterns and based on that provide personalized movie suggestions uh, to our audience. This enhances the user's movie watching experience and make it enjoyable. We'll be working with a data set that includes elements like movie IDs, user IDs, ratings, movie genres, and timestamps of ratings. Prior to diving into the data set, what do we have to do? We have to pre-process the data. The SQL queries here may involve aggregating ratings, uh, creating similarity scores between movies and users, identifying top rated or similar movies, through uh, the SQL queries. This recommendation system can identify popular movies, genres with high user ratings, and movies frequently watched together. These insights uh, can help movie platforms understand user preferences, improve their movie catalog, and provide tailored recommendations to their audience. At this point, let's jump into the next project, which is social media analysis. So our seventh project is to deep dive into social media analysis. The goal here is to leverage SQL to dissect user behavior, identify trending uh, discussions, and sport emerging trends on various social media platforms. We'll be working with uh, this particular data set. It comprises uh, user-generated content such as posts, comments, and likes from a specific social media platform. Uh, this first step involves uh, data pre-processing, removing duplicate entries, handling missing uh, data and cleaning up the text data to ensure accuracy. We then employ uh, SQL queries to track user interactions, identify influencers within the larger network, calculate engagement matrix, analyze sentiment, and pinpoint popular topics that are being discussed. The insights enable us to identify top performing posts, gauge user sentiment towards specific brands or topics, identify key influencers, and uncover emerging trends. Company's social media strategy can depend very heavily on this to recommend the type of content that would yield higher engagement rates for them. Now, let's move on to our next project. The eighth project on our list is healthcare analytics. The primary objective of uh, this project is to delve deep into healthcare data and derive actionable insights that can enhance patient care and optimize resource allocation. 
For this project, we'll be using a comprehensive data set that includes our hospital's records encompassing uh, patient demographics, medical history, diagnosis, treatments, and patient recovery times. As always, the first step would be to uh, pre-process our data. Then we'll employ uh, SQL queries to extract meaningful information like calculate the average length of uh, patient's stay, identify prevalent diseases or conditions, track readmission rates, and analyze the effectiveness of different treatments. Now, to do all this, we apply a series of SQL queries uh, to this healthcare data set. With that, we identify uh, high-risk patient groups, evaluate the effectiveness of treatment protocols, understand the impact of interventions on patient outcomes, and detect patterns in disease prevalence or comorbidities. Furthermore, this analysis can guide resource allocation decisions. For instance, by predicting a patient's length of stay, we can strategize the most efficient use of hospital beds, which are mostly limited. Our next project is sentiment analysis, which is a powerful tool for understanding uh, public sentiment towards a product, service, or a company through the analysis of customer reviews or social media comments. In this project, we'll be using uh, the Yelp reviews uh, as our dataset, classifying them as positives and negatives. The dataset we work with is uh, primarily text-based and uh, requires pre-processing such as removing special characters, tokenizing, and uh, normalizing the text to prepare it for analysis. Then we leverage uh, SQL queries to perform the sentiment analysis and filter reviews based on specific criteria or uh, calculate sentiment scores using uh, sentiment analysis algorithms or lexicons. You could also group uh, reviews by sentiment and generate uh, summary statistics to better understand the data. The insights derived from sentiment analysis are vast and impactful. For example, you can identify patterns in sentiment over time or across different customer segments, uh, pinpoint specific features or aspects that drive positive or negative sentiments, and even gauge the overall sentiment distribution. These insights can be used for informed product improvements, tailor marketing strategies, or understand customer opinions more deeply. Now, let's move on to our final project on our list. So the final project on our list is Library Management System. The system will enable users to easily access information about the availability of various books, their quantity, the borrowing history of each book, the date it was last borrowed, and uh, the expected return date, all through the help of SQL queries. The dataset for this project, which can be found in our uh, description, primarily contains data about books, borrowers, library staff, and the borrowing and return dates of the books. The first step is obviously data pre-processing. Next, you will employ a series of uh, SQL queries to catalog books by genre, update records for uh, borrowers, track the history of uh, book loans, and generate reports on overdue books, etc. By analyzing the data, you can uh, determine which books are uh, most frequently borrowed, identify the most popular genres, and ascertain the peak times of library usage, and also evaluate the uh, efficiency of library staff in managing book loans and returns. Additionally, the system can help identify patterns of uh, late returns and suggest strategies to mitigate this issue or uh, propose methods to boost user engagement. So there you have it. These 10 SQL projects are a must have in your uh, portfolio of projects. And in case you have uh, more projects as suggestions, do let us know in the comment section below for everyone's benefit. Uh, and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting data tech content. See you in the next video. Bye.